Hello, and this is a video review for the Lego Atlantis uh, Exploration HQ. Uh, it's very cool, uh, as you can see. But first, I'll just start off with. Uh, I may do a bit of coughing during this review and a bit of sniffling because uh, I have had flu, and yes, I have had it over Christmas. And yes, this is a Christmas present. Well, one of them, anyway. Uh, but yes. Uh, but yes. So, yeah, anyway, on with the review. Um, first look at the minifigures. You get um, two regular divers, and they are Dr. Fisher and Captain Speedman. He's driving. And a Manta Warrior with a trident. Which is, you know, regular. You get a lot of them in a lot of sets. So, on to the actual set itself. Um, there's this like, little platform with like a speeder thing with like two spear pieces there. One of the divers can go on there. And that's very nice. Uh, down here, there's like a little crane. And bends. It's loose, so that's nice. So you can sit there. Um, so that's pretty much um, the stand. Um, now for the main and cool part. The actual exploration submarine. So what you want to do is you want to take it, just lift it off. I'll just do that. You can see it goes on these three pieces here. Those three points, and you'll understand when you get it how they fit into these square pieces which are there, there, and there. It just rests on, it doesn't clip on or anything, it just rests. And those pe those uh, support pieces do sometimes break. Now onto this. Um, it's very good, indeed. Uh, it's very nice, it's got a lot of detail. Uh, it's got floodlights here. Inside, we've got some gauges, uh, radar, uh, coffee mug, uh, on the map here also. We've got Dr. Fisher sitting there, and we've got Atlantis Key. I've just put that on the chair, but you can put him on the chair if you want. Uh, and then, underneath there, can see just that white piece in front of the fire extinguishers, a keyboard. And behind Dr. Fisher there is a fish. The fish behind Fisher. Uh, you got two fire extinguishers as I mentioned, and um, this yellow tile, and there's another one under the fish. Oh, and also over here there's a metal detector. Very, very cool. That's about it for the inside. Um, it's very nice. Got to use a bit of imagination, you know, because uh, you know the water would just flood in if it was open like that. But it's a good, it's you know, it's good. And the floodlights and everything there. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, so now for the uh, a really neat part is you want to. Bring this down. Make sure the floodlights are pointing down. You can have up to two minifigures inside. One here. Oops. One here, just at the side, with two prongs in front of it. At the side here. And although I haven't got one, you can have the same with these two spare, using up these four prongs here. They're the only minifigures you can have inside. Oh, and the driver. The pilot also. 
Um, but yeah, so change it into its submarine. Bring this down. The floodlights are pointing down when you do this. Uh, close it up. And this peg will match up with the hole there. With that back hole, go in. And there you have the Exploration HQ submarine mode. Now this is really cool. I'm not as big as I was expecting. It's much smaller than the... Uh, well, not much smaller, but... It's smaller than, uh, quite a bit smaller than I was expecting than the compared to the Neptune carrier. Um, it's got uh, kind of bubble windows on the top sides, but speaking of the sides, you can open those uh, again to look inside mainly. Um, yeah, and the same on the other side with that. This can be lifted up, and you can see Captain the Speedman in there. Pretty cool. We have some harpoon guns on the top, which can be removed and given to the divers. Uh, if you want, I'll just show you. You can take those off and give those to the minifigures. Then they just go slide back in there. That's very cool. And um, we've got some propellers here. Well, not propellers, but those sort of spinny things. Some more there. You've also got a pair of missiles, which this way would fire backwards, but that's for the base mode, so just turn those round and they can fire forwards in submarine mode which is very cool but yeah um, it's a really nice set I recommend you get it um, I have to say out of all the Atlantis sets I've got which is nearly all of them um, I haven't built Gateway of the Squid yet which I also got for Christmas um, I actually built this on Christmas Day. It took me about two hours uh, to build it. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I hope you've had a good Christmas. Um, hope you've not had the flu like me. Um, I've been coughing and feeling, well, ill and not very good at all. But, yeah. On the whole, I hope you've had a good Christmas, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I recommend you get this set. So, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.